How did Charlie Woods perform in his AJGA debut? Welcome back to ES Club Golf. Today we're spotlighting a story that's not just about legacy and talent, but also about the enduring spirit of the game. We're talking about Charlie Woods, the young prodigy stepping into the limelight, carrying the weight of a legendary surname and the dreams of golfing greatness. Buckle up as we delve into Charlie's debut at the American Junior Golf Association event, where he began to trace his own path on the greens once ruled by his father, Tiger Woods. This past weekend marked a milestone in the golfing journey of Charlie Woods, the son of the legendary Tiger Woods. The golfing community watched with bated breath as Charlie participated in the American Junior Golf Association, AJGA, a platform where Tiger himself carved his path to greatness. At just 15 years old, Charlie stepped onto the greens of the Will Lowry Junior Championship, held at the prestigious Carolina Trace Country Club in Sanford, North Carolina. Charlie, playing on a sponsor's exemption, faced the rigors of a 54-hole event. Amidst a field of 51 talented young golfers, Charlie battled through the course, ending the tournament at 21 over par. This score tied him for 32nd place, a commendable finish given the challenging conditions and the intense competition. Despite the struggles and the pressure, Charlie's debut was a journey of learning and growth, showcasing his potential in the game's future. The event was not just about golf. It was a spectacle drawing attention far and wide. With Tiger Woods in attendance, the tournament became more than a junior championship. It was a glimpse into the future of golf. Security was notably tight, with armed guards ensuring the safety and order of the event. The presence of such security measures underscored the significance of the occasion, highlighting the blend of personal achievement and public interest that defines the Woods narrative in golf. Next, we delve into the challenges faced by Charlie Woods beyond the fairways. Earlier this year, in a telling moment from Charlie Woods' early foray into professional golf, the scene at the Cognizant Classic in Florida highlighted the intense public interest surrounding the young golfer. As Charlie attempted to navigate the pressures of qualifying for his first PGA Tour event, the dynamics off the course were equally challenging. With his mother, Elin Nordegren, in attendance, and absent his father, Tiger, the day became a spectacle of fan enthusiasm and boundary challenges. The tournament's lack of crowd control became evident when Charlie's drive on the fifth hole veered off course, prompting fans to scramble through the rough in search of a memorable keepsake. The situation escalated as spectators, unhindered by barriers, followed closely behind Woods, creating an atmosphere more akin to a public parade than a golf tournament. The crowd swelled to over 50, including an eager grandmother who had taken her granddaughter out of school, hoping for a moment of acknowledgement from the young Woods. Amidst this backdrop, Charlie faced the added distraction of overzealous fans, including one who, despite officials' interventions, insisted on getting a book signed right on the course. This incident on the 12th green, culminating in a disruptive confrontation on the 13th tee, painted a vivid picture of the challenges Charlie faced, far removed from the typical tranquility of golf. Despite the chaotic environment and the mounting pressure, Charlie completed the day with a score of 16 over 86. This experience, though not reflective of his potential, underscored the unique pressures of competing under the Woods legacy, setting the stage for his subsequent performance at the AJG event, where he aimed to recalibrate and focus on his game amidst the heightened security and expectations. During his AJGA debut, the journey was a mixed bag of triumphs and trials. In the opening round, Charlie's talent shone through with three birdies, showcasing his potential and skill, particularly with consecutive birdies on the sixth and seventh holes. Yet, the day was marred by five bogeys and two double bogeys, culminating in a 6-over-78 on the challenging 6, 948-yard par 72 course. As the tournament progressed, Charlie's battle with the course intensified. The second round saw him navigate the layout with a solitary birdie on the 399-yard par 4 fourth hole, a testament to his resilience. Despite reducing his double bogeys to just one on the 429-yard par 4 fifth, his bogeys climbed to 8, leading to a 9 over 81 and leaving him tied for 40th place after two days of play. The final round was a testament to Charlie's fighting spirit. With a scorecard featuring four birdies, four bogeys, and three double bogeys, he signed off with another 6 over 78. His total of 21 over for the tournament placed him in a tie for 32nd, a respectable finish for his debut. Contrasting Charlie's experience was the performance of Patman Malcolm, the tournament's victor, 
who displayed remarkable consistency and skill. With rounds of 69, 70, and 70, Malcolm finished at 7-under, the only player to end the tournament under par, clinching victory by a substantial 8-shot margin and outpacing Woods by 28 shots. This event not only highlighted the promising beginnings of Charlie Woods, but also set the stage for his future in the competitive arena of golf. Turning the pages back to the early 90s, we witnessed the emergence of a golfing prodigy, Tiger Woods, who would redefine the sport. In the hallowed grounds of the American Junior Golf Association, Tiger's journey was nothing short of legendary. With 13 starts from 1991 to 1993, he clinched eight victories, a feat that placed him second on the all-time list, a testament to his early dominance and innate talent. Twice crowned as the Rolex Junior Player of the Year in 1991 and 1992, Tiger's prowess was unmistakable, setting the stage for a career that would be celebrated across the golfing world. His rivalry with Phil Mickelson, another luminary of golf, added to the lore. All right, all right. <laughs> Good for him. Good for him. Mickelson, leading the AJGA with 12 victories, also marked his legacy as a formidable force on the golf course. Tiger Woods' amateur career was studded with milestones, notably his unprecedented triumph in winning three consecutive U.S. junior amateur titles, followed by three straight U.S. amateur titles, a herald to his unparalleled skill and determination. This remarkable journey paved his path to turning professional in 1996, a decision that would lead to an illustrious career on the PGA Tour. With 82 PGA Tour victories, Tiger Woods etched his name alongside the greats, tying for the most wins in history and securing 15 major championships, a record surpassed only by Jack Nicklaus. This illustrious background sets a towering benchmark for Charlie Woods, illuminating the legacy he inherits and the path he is set to embark on in the world of golf. This has been a glimpse into Charlie Wood's nascent journey in the world of competitive golf, brought to you by ES Club Golf. If you're intrigued by the legacy of the Woods and the promise of new talent, show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. Your engagement helps us bring more of these compelling golf stories to light. Stay with ES Club Golf for more insights into the game we love as we follow the old and new legends crafting their stories on the world's greens. Thank you for joining us at ES Club Golf, where golf is not just a game, but a saga of tradition, talent, and the timeless pursuit of greatness. We'll be back with more stories from the fairways, where every shot tells a story and every player has a dream. Until next time, keep swinging.